We put weirder things in our mouths. <laughs> And on that note, welcome back to <laughs> Trial by Fire. Um, we are trying a sauce. I don't believe we've done this company before. I don't think so. I, I think know I've seen them at different festivals and that, and may have tried their food zen, but I'm not sure, to be honest. Yep. I've done so many sauces and so many Pick things. A lot of sauces. He's very not, saucy. Not just on the, yeah, not just on the videos, but just in general. So this one was picked up for us by a lovely little hobbit. Yeah. Thank you, hobbit. We're going to try this and we'll let you know what we think about it. We'll send her a postcard to the Shire. Yeah. yeah. Make sure that she ha she knows whether we put this on first or second breakfast. Yeah. Or 11 Z's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, this company is FOC. Yeah. FOC Foods, I think is what they Yeah. Are. Now, if they wrote you on the bottom, I'd be a little worried. FOC, you, you can take that how you want. <laughs> But this one is, sounds like it's very interesting. Yes, yeah, it does sound good. It's uh, pr procured locally. So it's local. They're actually based out of, where did I say it was? Uh, Toronto, I think. Uh, Scarborough, so oh. Toronto area. Yeah. In Ontario here. And this one is a Gala Apple Ghost Hot Sauce. It's like a haunted apple. Which is fitting for the time of year. Yep. And it's apple. And it's an interesting label it's not gloss like you normally get it's actually textured like if you had um the recycled the brown paper towel that yeah. you get at uh, uh bathrooms or wherever you, you know, some places that work have it it's kind of got that texture to it yeah like, like a rougher pa uh, paper it's kind of cool though there's no gloss on it or anything else yeah, it's very simple simplistic so let's uh, see what she says She's not saying much. No. Ontario made, as you can tell that by the label up top. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, FOC Foods, as it says, out of Scarborough, Ontario. Uh, you can check out their site at focfoods.com. which It'll be, be linked. Linked below. So um, that's the French information. Bilingual. Yeah, unfortunately. Every, I wouldn't say unfortunately, but <laughs> it, 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 for making everything fit, it becomes unfortunate. Yes. That in Canada you have to have both English and French, yeah. or I should say most of Canada. You don't need to in Quebec. It only oh, has really? to be French. Oh well, there yeah. you go. <laughs> so the ingredients on this interesting to be sauce it says it's very hot. Yay! It feels room temperature to me. Uh, <laughs> so the ingredients are water, gala apple. Roasted yellow, yellow, roasted yellow bell peppers. <laughs> that was a mouthful. <laughs> Comes with a free tongue twister. <laughs> um, sure, what was that? Roasted carolic? Roasted Celerac. Celerac? Is that yep. what that's it? Oh, no. <laughs> it was something. Uh, roasted parsnip. Roasted <laughs> garlic. Apple cider vinegar, peach ghost pepper, fresh ginger, lime juice, vinegar. Uh, it sounds very harvesty. No, oh, sorry, not vinegar. Vegetable oil, sorry. Uh, may contain soy, kosher salt, and spices. Yeah. But they never this what the spices are. No. But it sounds, well, but they got to keep some secrets. Well, yeah, but it, it could be celery salt. That's a spice. That's true. It could be paprika. It could be... Every spice that they wanted to get rid of out of their kitchen. That could be. But yeah, no, it could be the spice from Dune. It's going to make our eyes turn blue. So once again, thank you, Hobbit. And since you're the closest size-wise to a Hobbit, you can open it. Well, that's all right. Give me sharp implements. Sometimes it's the only way she's sharp. I heard that, and I also have a knife, so I'm just saying... But she seemed to be having an issue with him. Ugh. You ruined the label on no, top. No, I didn't. I left it on. <laughs> All right. So we got our trusty spoon in this. Oh, 
Okay. Doesn't smell too bad. It's... You can smell the ghost. It's a thick sauce by the look of it. Come in. No. Yeah, you definitely smell the ghost. I don't smell yeah. any apple. But the ghost is definitely there. Yeah. But it does have like a harvesty. It, it's a thick sauce. She's coming out. Like if you were going to have this on a burger, she it would... coming around the corner when she comes. It would replace the mayo. It's so thick. Oh, wow. It's like an applesauce. Yeah. A little more than I was expecting to drop out of that. Not enough to taste. Come on. I, I take oh. what you normally take. That's no, about the same. Yeah. It's just spread out. But, yeah, it's still just smelling the ghost. It does smell warm. Yeah. But with everything else that's in there, I'm not expecting the heat level to be super high, even though it says very hot. It's very thick. Like, yeah. this is one of the thicker ones. Like, like it's not moving around the spoon too much. Yeah. She's a thick one. <laughs> There you go. So, cheers. Cheers. Drink. Heat hits right, almost right away. Mm-hmm. <coughs> but it's good. I'm not tasting anything. <clears throat> Aren't you? It's the, the back of the throat. I'm tasting some of the roasted veggies, I think. But the roasted veggies are pretty mild. <coughs> Like a taste wise, you eat a roasted vegetable. It's not like, oh, this is so flavorful. It's usually a roasted vegetable. Yeah. <clears throat> no. I don't taste it. than apple. I expected. No, no apple. Oh, yeah. And I, which is for, good for me because I'm not a huge gala apple. My apples, I prefer Granny Smith. Um, but it's not, it's good taste. Like, it's good overall sauce. I can see it being utilized on many things or in many things as well. It's just, I'm not picking up on. Anything, maybe a touch of the garlic. Yeah, it's not very strong. Um, no. But I, I do taste some of the, like I said, the roasted vegetable. I'm trying to think of what I would use it on. Uh, burgers would be good. Yeah. You could probably use that as, like, if you wanted to do, it like, a little bit of it on a rub on something. Yeah. Mix because it it's such a something. thick sauce, yeah. you could mix it. It would probably be good, be good on ham or something. My heat's almost... It's still warm, but it's it's not. Um, yeah, it's, it's dissipating very quickly. Yeah, but it's 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 pepper forward in the heat. Yep. But not pepper forward in taste. No, but I do like it. Huh. Bit more, bit more, bit. <laughs> I was just wondering if sometimes when you take a second taste of it, you get more. You get different flavors. Yeah. Slap. Because that heat, initial heat is gone, by the, on the, you're, not, you're not worried about the heat. You get anything different? I'm not getting the apple yet. But it does taste like, um, like I've had parsnips before. Mm -hmm. Parsnip is a, like almost like a super mild mm -hmm. carrot. Yeah. It, it tastes like a roasted parsnip. Yeah, and just the good. As I said, it's, a, it's not a bad sauce. No. Not particularly my flavoring. But it is, it's a but, lot hotter than you'd think it would be. Yeah, it was, I wouldn't say it's very hot. I would put that, for the initial heat of, not so much, oh, I wasn't expecting that, but the actual heat, I would say probably about a three. Maybe, maybe a four. Um, I'd say more of a four because it's, it's certainly when you're not expecting it, it's certainly like kick in the mouth for that, that a few seconds. That initial kick for the second would be, would be the four for me. Yeah. And then it dropped rapidly down to three and just yeah. mellowed out and then dropped. Now it's just like a nice warmth. Yeah. But taste wise for me, I'm going to have to say a two. Yeah. It, it's, it's versatile. It can be used a lot, but cause I'm not getting a lot of taste out of it. That's why I'm saying a two. It's not that it's a bad sauce, it's just I'm not getting any flavors out of it. Yeah, I think it's more heat forward than it is flavor, but yeah. I wish it was a bit more apple-y, but I, I'd still, it's still yeah. good for me. I'd it's, say like it's around a, a three. Yeah, because they, they, they've got that, like I said, that this is very hot. Yeah. But it's, yeah. You, you, you see some ghost sauce, and it's just like mild ghost. This is a ghost forward. Yeah, there's definitely, you can definitely tell there's ghost in this one. Yeah. The, and the peach ghost, I've only had a couple times in things. It's not 
if I recall, it's not as strong as some of the other ghosts you can get out there. And it, again, depends on the peppers, too. Yeah. I, Every did, pepper's did they mix it with other peppers? Mm. I don't want to spill it. Oh. They came back up there for a second. <laughs> no, the, the only one they list here is the peach ghost. Yeah. So maybe that's why it's not sticking around too well, long, no, which is good. There's, there's the, 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 the yellow bell peppers in there. <laughs> Yeah, those ones that you tripped over. <laughs> the ones I couldn't quite say right. <laughs> I thought for a second you were having a stroke. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, I guess there is the yellow bell pup. I don't count them because they're, they're not a super hot or anything. They're just no, they're just like a, yeah. They had that floral, uh, fruity taste to floral. Them. What kind of peppers are you eating? <laughs> I'm still getting tongue tied from it. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad though. Yeah, they, so they it's a company I've seen around it and. At this moment in time, I do not recall if I have done anything from them. It's quite possible. If I have, though, I'll have it linked below, but I don't think It'd I It'd be have. interesting to see what kind of uh, flavoring they have for more milder sauces. Yeah. I know they've got a, a fair size lineup, uh, like, in variety. I don't know if it's, like... I, I would say probably they're in the range of maybe six or seven sauces. I'm pretty sure when The Hobbit p- procured this, it was their hottest on their menu. Yeah. So, and which I can understand that because it is, uh, it's a nice heat. Like right now it just tastes like, um, you know, the black pepper heat? Yeah. On my tongue. Me, I've got, I wouldn't say any heat residual. I've got the, I guess the tingle of re- remnant heat. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it's, it's still not really picking up on any flavors at all. Yeah. Like I said, the thing, like, this is like a super spicy vegetable soup. To me, it's like it's like very vegetable forward. I don't taste any apple at all. Yeah, but no apple. One of the things that I personally don't like about Gala apples is it's not a strong taste. No. As I said, I like my uh, Granny Smith because it's such a tart taste. Yeah. But yeah, it's. But I think that on a burger um, with some nice pickles to kind of break it up with that acidicness. Oh yeah, it would probably be good. Yeah, it's just. As itself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not going to go home and guzzle this. I'm just not. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, again, it was the FOC's Gala Apple Ghost Pepper Sauce. It's good for people who like super hot sauce. Yeah. It, 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 but not, it's not a super hot it's sauce. It's not a challenge sauce. It's, but it's, it's a not, good hot it's, sauce. It's a good hot sauce. It would I wouldn't recommend it to the general public for... Well, that's what I mean. Like, if you want something that's spicy... Yeah, if you like heat, but don't want to burn your mouth off, that that's yeah. a good sauce for you, that level. Yeah. But, so, anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoy the heat, stay spicy, and we'll see you next time where who knows what we'll be having. Hint, it'll be in a video. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Take care. And again, thank you, Hobbit. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, I say thank you, Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> They're a little shorter, so you gotta have to look down and talk to them. They're just vertically challenged. Yeah. Nice. Not bad. Mm.